Hi guys, welcome in Advanced Excel Program 2013 and I am Sanjay Kumar, your trainer. So far in Advanced Function and Formula Chapter, we have completed Array Formulas and in Calculation so far we have done some ifs, some ifs, average if and now we are going to learn average ifs. Average ifs allow you to use multiple criteria in the same formulas. So let's see that how it actually works. So here I have open Excel 2013 and for this demo we have a small employee table and here you would see we have a, a small table here where we're going to use our formula for this demo and with the help of this average if function we're going to get the average of salary based on two criteria instead of one. So the first criteria would be employee name and second would be the growth. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to type equal sign from my keyboard and now going to type average if. You can see here we got average if. I double clicked on it to select that. And in syntax you would see we get here the average range. So average range would be your actual numerical values from where average ifs going to pull the numerical values for your calculation. So if we come here in the data, so we need salary. So I'm gonna select the salary column. I'm going to type comma. And here you would see we have a criteria range one. So criteria range one is that field where your exact criteria that you're looking in, in your criteria range in for uh, employee name that can be fine. In other words, I can say the criteria would be the exact name of your employee and criteria range would be the column where your all employee names would be given. So let's see where we have criteria range in our data. So we're going to find employee name. So I'm going to select entire employee name column. You can select the specific cells as well if you like. And now I'm going to type the comma again. And here you would see criteria. So criteria in our case would be B10 and now we are going to take another criteria because this was for the first criteria for employee name and now we are going to identify the second criteria. So I am going to type comma and you would see here it is asking criteria range 2. Here we have given criteria range 1 and now we have to identify the second criteria range where your second criteria can be found. So our second criteria is group name. So I'm gonna select entire group column. Going to type comma again. And now we have to give the second criteria. So we're going to find the second criteria from this cell. So I have just selected it. It is a P12 and you can give many other criteria as per your requirement. For this demo, I just took only two criteria, so it can be easy for you to understand. Now I'm gonna hit enter. You would see error here because we don't have any employee name or a group name here. So I'm going to give a employee name, suppose uh, it is Jason. Yes, it would again not work because we have to keep two criteria, not one. So we are going to find average of JSON for a group A because if you will see in our data we have a two JSONs or more maybe uh, one is for a B second is also again B and third one is for A and next one is for C so you would see that if we give A that will give us the average of JSON for group A. If I type B, it will change that value. Same goes with C. So it is working fine. So this is how you know average if function works. You can give multiple criteria in the same formula. So let's try again for a commission. I'm gonna type average again. Double click on average ifs and in average range this time we're going to have the numerical value for commission so i'm gonna select the commission column I'm going to click comma 
and for criteria range one so where all the employee name would be that would be an employee name column so I'm gonna select that and where is our specific criteria for which specific employee we are going to find this average this is here in employee name section here it's P10 now give the second criteria range so that would be group where all the group can be find all this is the second criteria can be find and second criteria can be find in column edge now we're going to have the criteria range we have to define that so it would be again this cell yeah. now just hit enter yes it's working fine so this is how average ifs function works i hope this video was informative for you in next video we will learn how to use count if function don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel so you can get update on coming videos in this series thank you for watching this video we will meet again